Hello and good evening, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to another live stream. I'm Winry, and we are here on Breakfast Crafts All the Mods Expert Mode. And I have done a bit of work since, what was it, Thursday night stream? Hello, Carl. Nice to see you. If we go down here, last stream we were working on getting an arc furnace made because we're working toward capacitor, which with talking with other people on the server, it sounds like I'll be doing energy cubes first and my husband Ed, who also plays on the server, but he's playing his own. Um, is it doesn't even have energy storage right now he uses an advanced generator that has a decent amount of storage so yeah but anyway we need basic capacitors to get into ender io that is i'd like to get to that point and to make those in this pack there's a lot of things we need we have successfully created mana glass which required us to go through roots to get to batania and now we need to go through mechanism to get silver clumps and um, the empowerer you have to in order to get to the empowerer you have to get through mechanism first so those that's the path we were headed down we needed in order to make silver clumps we needed to make something that needed osmium one of the one of these machines needs osmium <laughs> for mechanism and you cannot process osmium in anything other than a arc furnace from immersive engineering so i made one it's pretty it took a long time you need both carl in order to get anywhere you need both all right so we have this arc furnace however i have no power and we need these whatever they're called at the top i'll get the book out we need things in here capacitors or whatever in here in order to run this thing so yeah yes it was a lot of steel and we'll be doing a lot more steel tonight I have a feeling um, so if you have been following along you know that the amount of power I currently have is tiny very tiny um, I have the sweet farm making toast sandwiches to run these two culinary generators. And then I have a, one peat fired engine because I needed ash and I didn't want to waste the power by just smelting the peat. So I made that so that I could collect the ash and still use some of the power. This is all we have for power right now. And in order to run that arc furnace, I'm going to need a lot more power. So. I mean, I'll, I have this uh, passive power set up, and I would like to expand this along this whole row right here. That will keep the power generating machines running. And what I'd like for mid-game power, that's something I've never done, is immersive engineering biodiesel. Biodiesel. Yes. So, to do biodiesel, you need an industrial squeezer and a fermenter. Those first two machines, we take those liquids and mix them in another machine. And I can't remember what the name of that machine is. Uh, la 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 la. I don't think it's here. I think it's in power. Where did I read it at, folks? It's in here somewhere. So this is the generator. This actually makes the power. But in order to get the power, I need to make the biodiesel. Here we go, okay. The refinery, that's the other machine. All right, so we need a squeezer. We need a fermenter. Those are first, so we can process the seeds and the potatoes that we're getting from that farm over there. Then we take the two liquids that these produce and put them in a refinery. 
um, in order to get the biodiesel that we need to put in a generator. So these machines are going to require a lot of work, but that is what we're going to work on tonight. We're going to work on making the things that we need. Sorry, my mind was just like, every time I go to approach getting this power going, I'm just overwhelmed with the fact that these machines are going to take a long time to make. But they're going to go here. One, two, three. Hopefully. If not, I'll do one, two. Lord knows where three is going. But the biodiesel generator is going to go over here. I have enough room for two. Okay. So I can't make the room any bigger that way. You can see the hallway right there. And this way where that cobble is, is also the hallway. So this is as wide as the room can go, but I can go that way. And I can go up about another eight blocks before I hit the floor above. So yeah. Now Carl asked what the build theme is for this. And there really isn't one other 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 than a bunker, really. I'm underground and I liked the basalt, so we're building a basalt. So yeah. Just building dark colors. Um, this is my main room. This is the testing floor. where I do all my basic stuff first before I actually have rooms for it. Uh, yep. So there, I'm working on getting concrete down in this room. You can kind of see some of it. That's the, what I want for the floor in the middle, which we get as a by we get slag as a byproduct of the steel process, so I'm able to make concrete out of that. All right, so first things first, we need to make an industrial squeezer. This squeezer is what we're going to need to make first. And let's see, I'm reading it here. It looks relatively small, which is good. Okay. And we'll be using regular seeds. So we'll get 80 millibuckets per seed. It's I could do hemp seeds later on, but we're doing regular seeds first. Oh, I clicked too far. So this is what we all need. Oh, I have a thumb piston in my inventory. Six steel scaffolding, two fluid pipes, a redstone engineering block, two light engineering blocks, four wooden barrels, two steel, three steel fences, and a piston. It's really not that expensive, and it looks like it's three by three, three by five. But it's a three by three base, and then it gets higher. So, let's see if I have. Um, any iron here that I can convert into, let's put some of that into the machines downstairs. So we'll get this grinding into some iron. Put the, the minerals to be inspected over here. I did make some more sulfuric acid, and so that was able to make some more hydrofluoric acid. So these are full, and I still need to make some more of this, but I believe this one's Yeah, it's got some in it. So um, it's out of test tubes, which is why it's not running at the moment. But there isn't a whole lot in here for it to process. So we're doing this slowly and that's okay because currently I'm not using any of the um, any of these processed pieces currently. 
but my setup is mostly automated. Not completely, because obviously I still have to put in the raw ingredients here and whatnot. But once I do that... <laughs> yeah, I have um, an archive vid for you, um, Sungak, um, titled Rock Hounding is Going to be a Pain. And that's where I start learning it. Um, I actually set this up off camera, um, off screen, to make it look like this. But in the, the video um, on YouTube, I go through how it works. And this you have to use throughout the whole process series of you're going to need this stuff for things. So I, yeah, you're going to need this setup and you're going to need to keep it running. So that's why I put it over here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's start figuring out how much steel I'm going to need. Six steel scab- you know what? I have pieces of stuff everywhere. I bet I have some of this somewhere. I really need to organize things better. Um, I think once I get this power system made, I'm- going to finally make uh, storage drawer controllers, I think. I have everything I need to make them. Um, let's see if I have anything in these. Okay, so I have that. I might want a hopper. I've got some steel scaffolding. There's some steel rods I might need. Let's put the camouflage paneling in here. Here's a piece of steel. That's probably about it. So, back to storage drawer controllers. Let's. Th this is why I haven't made these yet. Here's your recipe. We need pewter from rock counting. We need reinforced storage crates. And packet filters. These are not difficult to do, and I wish I knew what the shortcut hotkey to just go back a step was in this, but I don't know what it is. Reinforced crate, not that diff. It's not difficult. And then here's the pewter, lead, bismuth, copper, tin, in a metal metal alloy, or, or the arc furnace, or the alloy smelter. Of which, those two we don't have hooked up yet. <laughs> um, interesting. Okay, so there's where we're at for those. That's why these there's a spot here that's empty. That's why the rock handing isn't done. But um, yeah, okay. Enough sidetracks. Winry, get busy. scaffolding and we have five so oops three steel three steel rods I have the steel rods we need more steel um, I think I have some over here in the blast furnace some that'll get us started that's what this iron over here is for let's get it processed scaffolding so there we go we've got what steel scaffolding we need two fluid pipes I have never made the fluid pipes from immersive engineering in this playthrough so I have no clue what all right so they're just six iron plates I have two iron on me there we go I think this is set for plate. Yep. We'll get those going. And redstone engineering block. Oh, that's right. Okay, so redstone iron wiring, iron, more iron plates. So let's check four more iron plates in there. Mm -hmm. 
if you see all of them. We're going to need them. Um, redstone, we're going to need to probably from upstairs. And I knew I had one more dawn stone. More than that. I do. Okay. So let's go upstairs and grab some redstone. Away. I was using this to make um, the camouflaged paneling. Uh, I moved the carpentry setup. I don't, if you watched uh, Thursday's stream, you would have noticed that it wasn't where it was. And I wanted to use up the biomass that I had in the carpenter, so I made some more paneling in order to do so. All right. Let's see if we can do this. We need four of these. I don't have the iron on me. There we go. One, two, three, four. And then, there we go. Redstone engineering block. We're running out of space in our inventory already. Let's turn this cobble into sand. Because that's going to be more valuable. And then we can make the fluid pipes. Because that was just this. We'll likely need, want more of that. But in the, right now we just want to craft this machine. Two light engineering blocks. Copper, iron, iron, copper, copper, and iron. It's bronze, isn't it? Yep. I need to get some copper. And that's saying something. Ed has been playing, let's see this. Let's see if it tells us. Uh, time played. Ed has been playing over 300 hours and he's just now able to make a void miner. So if that is telling you anything. I've only played 118 hours, 320 by the end of tonight, and see where I'm at. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's okay. Do I have any? I do have crushed copper. Oh. Add some copper. So I have some copper and iron on me. So let's make two of these. And that makes two. Would I need more than two? No. Uh, three steel fence. Fence. We are now out of space in our inventory. Actually, let's do this. Okay. And now we need to do the wood. 
wooden barrels. Four wooden barrels. Treated wood, lots of regular plain old treated wood. Okay, so we need to go get some wood. And you know what? I have bottles of creosote, uh, creosote upstairs. We we'll use those first. go chop down this couple of birch trees that I have down here because I've now moved my tree farm. I've dug out a hole <laughs> so that I can have a room for a tree farm. And I can free up our testing floor. Um, another good thing will be once that I once I have some power working I will be able to push some power up to this floor and uh, do more stuff in this space. Alright, let's pick up all the saplings. So I need to make the heated wood. So then the regular ones? I see the bandit. Oh, it does use the regular ones too. Okay. Wooden barrel. Oh boy. Let's see. I need. So that should be everything I need for a squeezer. Yep. Okay. Now the fun part of assembling it. where I want to start it. Let's see what it needs to look like. So that shouldn't be a problem. We got the light engineering and then a bunch of scaffolding with fluid pipe in the middle. Okay. The light engineering block. I'm assuming it'll turn up when there's something else here, so it'll look like the image better. Alright, that's your engine block and the four. Oops. You can break down. Thank you. Or that is 
just be wood. Barrels. There we go. That looks interesting. And it looks like That appears to be how it's supposed to be. So where does it say I need to hit? Engineer's hammer on the central wooden barrel from the side that has the engineering blocks. That's really specific. Um. Apparently I don't have it formed correctly. Oh, there it goes. Clicked it in the middle. That was not where it said to click it in the book, unless I read that wrong. Formed by the engine camera on the central wooden barrel. Oh, uh oh. So no, that was right. The middle bit here. Okay. On this side. All right. See, see now that makes more sense. All right, so this is an input. That's an output, and this is an input. Okay. Um, this I can add a switch to, and power. Doesn't say. It'll let you change which way it faces, huh? I've never had to change which way it faces, so how would you do that, Ed? to go in. Does this have a GUI? It does. Alright, so we just need to fly, supply power and it should 
work, right? I'm not sure what this, if this is for a, no, this is probably for a bucket in, out, but I don't know what this is for. Um, it didn't say in the book that I needed anything other than power and seeds. Items for input. Block below it, fluid outputs, gotcha. Is it gonna produce um, a byproduct? All right, in any case, let's get some power cables, hook it up to our passive power system, and get it plugged in. It doesn't say where it needs to get plugged in at, anywhere so I'm gonna hope that I can hook it in from like right here or right here because this is underneath here is where the fluid output this is the fluid output so that'll be for the refiner go to go in the refinery maybe I should put the refinery here and then the other machine for the potatoes on the other side. I don't know if I can put it on the other side There! You're right! Yep, that's the power thing. Okay. Okay, well, let's get some power cables. Let's hope I have some. We'll be making them. Don't have any there, but that doesn't mean anything. Actually, do I have any in here? No. I have more redstone. That's a lot of nether stars to make the tier one void ore miner. Thankfully, you've got bees making those for you, right, Ed? There's 12. I bet I'm going to need to make more than that. Oh ho. Yeah. Bleh. I'm a long way from that. Okay. I have a conduit binder. It's redstone and iron, right? For the basic ones. Yep. There's iron in there too. <laughs> Some iron. Six. And six. There's no room in there. Let's pour off some of that bronze so that there is room. I will need to get some more lava soon. Excavator cheaper? You mean the Ender IO, the immersive engineering excavator? These things aren't cheap. Oh. 
good lord. Yeah, that's not cheap. And 4,096 flux per tick. That's how much one biodiesel engine produces. So, if we do that, um, is that lava? It is okay. Go for that. Get me out of here. I want to go that way. Dang it. Who knew I'd do that? Guess it doesn't matter now. I can. Let me out. <laughs> okay. Let's fix this. It'd be nice if I can use something other than lava someday. is slowly getting power, which I expected, and it's slowly making plant oil, so woot! It is running, and that is what we wanted. So, the next challenge... Do I not have any of that glass on me? No, but I know I have some to put right there. The next challenge, I need to see how big the refinery is, because if, if I can put the refinery here and then the fermenter here, I can have both liquids go into the refinery instead of like snaking um, the pipes from here and here over to the refinery, if that makes sense. And then I can just run the refinery fuel over this way toward the biodiesel. Let's look at this. Okay, so I could make this long ways and have it go backward and it looks like it's only three wide and five, three by six. One, two, three, four, five, three by five. Okay, um, so that's good. How big is this fermenter? This fermenter is the same size as the squeezer. It looks to be produced the same except for this bit right there. So we have some of these materials already. Um, okay, so let's figure this out. I want to leave at least one space. Three, two, three, four, five. Here's the refinery. Can 
I go that way at all? Because I know I've got something right here. Oh, maybe further by one. Yep, yeah, I can move over a little bit. That's the wall. Okay. Gotcha. This must be where my elevator is currently. Which is a ladder. <laughs> but it will be like the dream elevator. Alright, and that leaves two spaces between each one. Um, if I reduce that to just one space between each, then I wouldn't need to move this over at all. Don't matter, that looks good. Okay, so the next thing we need to make is um, the fermenter. Go back over here, try to free up our inventory a little bit. Um, we are going to need to make more of those. We're going to need that copper. Alright. Fermenter. Six steel scaffolding. I've got five. But I need to make steel rods this time. There we go. So there's the steel scaffolding. We have the fluid pipe already, redstone engineering block, light engineering block, four cauldrons. That's going to need aluminum, iron sheet metal. All right. The redstone that I had. Let's use that. And I think I have enough iron and sticks. I need to grab dawn stone. Oh, I can only do three. I need to grab more redstone. Okay. And the dawn stone. I'm thinking about it and I'm up here. I should grab the Constantin plates that I have so I can make more thermoelectric um, the passive generators, thermoelectric generators. And uh, have some more passive power for those machines. These are iron plates? Yep. Get those going. I'll grab some more iron. Copper. Let's put the constant in here. And we'll grab those iron plates. Redstone engineering block. I think we needed two light engineering blocks. Yep, and that was the copper and the iron thing. Hi, Sapopa. It's been a while. How are you? Two light engineering blocks. Four cauldrons, four iron sheet metal. Okay. 
size four iron plates and I'm going to do this recipe once yay new PC does that mean you get to play Minecraft again soon if you're looking for a good server community I can't recommend breakfast craft enough So cauldrons, if I remember correctly, are aluminum plates. And I need four of them, so I need 28 aluminum. And that might be a challenge. Um, let's see if I have any. Some of this other stuff away. Now we're full. Okay. I can check the rock hound and dust. What kind of pack are you interested in? Well, Thermal Expansion came out today for 1.10 Minecraft, so it'll start getting added to packs. I can imagine. Um, 1.10 modded requires more than 4 gigs of RAM, and it's, it's, it's a hog. For sure. I don't need more copper if all we're doing is making the um, cauldrons. Get this running. Good deal. I have 12 in my machine. really need to move this metal press somewhere else. Lovely. Okay, it's that time. The cats are hungry, it's eight o'clock, so I need to pause for about five minutes. We'll let these aluminum um, ingots press into sheets, into plates, and we'll be right back to finish making the fermenter. Don't go anywhere, folks. 